Here, Kyle Tolentino, Paolo Villanar, Nico Fajardo, Kobe Mone, and Joseph Nunag on the side of FEU, James Tempra. But FEU, they have under a coach like Coach Deno, we know that they're going to be a, a tough team as well. It's going to be a big question if Letran can keep Mo Fati out of the paint for rebounds. As we see, Royce Alforque with a beautiful pull-up jumper. Inside, competente. Mo Fati. Wala. Second serving is good. He's just so big. I don't know if you... Pao Villanar looking like a dwarf beside to si Mo Fati. Alforque. Oh, what a move. But Fati with a better finish. With big. a putback jam. Royce Alforque. Overhead gather. This is it, but Mo Fati with a big slam. He barely jumped right there. But Mo Fati brings us our Bola.TV slam of the game. On point defense, really giving them transitions, transition opportunities, which is why they're able to score six points in a row. And Nunag, that's going to be crucial if they could knock down. Great job on the end of Nunag denying the high post. That's really the point of attack of this FEU offense. Tempra, oh, the spin and the finish. Great job by James Temper. has tried to give it to Mo Fati and led to a turnover. And Cyrus Torres. Eh, siya na ang mag-layup dito to give the lead to FEU. He has a tough task ahead of him, but what one thing we've noticed is that his team this year much faster than the champion team last year. But we'll see as Pau Javillonar with a great power move finish. Para dito sa Letran, cuts the lead down to six. Sleet. Kick out pass, Ona. Oh, that jumper looking good, Paradito. Okay. The court without him, but now with Ona on the floor, stretches the floor for them. Another added jumper. Another guy who's capable of hitting jumpers. As we see, Pau Villonar, that's two straight buckets. So really, we see the effect of these strong already, but they don't even have their top scorer, LJ Gonzalez, in this tournament. So it's going to be very exciting to see how this FEU squad performs as Pau Villonar with his drives right. Again, losing the basketball. Alforque, may tanga ng bola dito. Ananuevo, just too long for Rayson. That's Royce Alforque with his second pull-up jumper of the game. Tor. Galvez, the floater works. Great confidence by the rookie. <laughs> Kurt Rayson asking for... Sleet. Kick out pass. Alforque, sa loob. Oh, what a slithering move inside. So steady and so calm. Yeah, tough finishes like that to go. And a turnover again for Litra. No look pass. Año Nuevo attacks and scores. I thought Cholo was going to give us another high. Double digit lead for the Tamaraus. One minute remaining. Rafael Go hands it off to Rayson. Takes a free and knocks it down. That's one guy you can't go under. Cholo Año Nuevo. So Litra now selecting to go into a zone. Let's see how FU responds. Well, they find it don't see Felipe with it. And a steal here by Patrick Slee. Two on one fast break opportunity. He goes up for the acrobatic layup. Two athletic, two by a dozen. Galvez against Tempra. Rison. Guarino pulls the trigger and rattles it in. Great job by Kurt Rayson. Really, Kurt Rayson with the kind of talent that he has and the exposure he has, as you mentioned, uh, playing with an MTBL team, really gives him an edge versus his college competitors. With offensive board, and Rayson sneaking from behind. Pulls up from three. Bang! Kurt Rayson takes advantage of those opportunity room. He'll take those pull-ups as we see the Bola.TV three-point shot of the game. And as we head into the break, FEU leading 31-22. We'll be right back. But Kurt Rayson is now the new team captain. Tasked to lead the charge para dito sa Letran, but competente, challenging the defense nito si Rayson. Second chance points for FEU. Letran really has to do a better job keeping Mo Fati off the glass. But Kevin Santos with an offensive rebound of his own, scores two inside will play a huge role in the upcoming season. As Año Nuevo, oh, under the rest, able to will that one in. Criticism. Grayson, drop pass. Havillonar, the one-hander. Doesn't get the friendly bounce. But Kevin Santos, like a workhorse inside. 
But that's two and losing that billionaire pick. Snaking in, loses the basketball. Takbo na naman ng FEU. Alforque, the left-handed finish. That's something you can't afford versus FEU. To score on them in the half court, but even more so when you're trying, turning the ball over, you give them transition points as Pau Havillonar working hard to get his own miss. So, thought Ano Nuevo was going to jam that, but now Letran taking advantage of their own. Rayson asking for a foul, none given, but nonetheless. Coach Renzi asking for fouls, but we see here Kurt Rayson one on one with Cyrus Torres. Avoids the help, finishes that tough layup, right hand finish. 37 30 lead for FEU as we head into the break. Pahardo, Sakaliwa. A billionaire posting up Ona. And that familiar up and under move works plus a foul. So notice. 1 and 25 left in the second quarter. Baguno, they find Fatty down low. Oh, the hook works. Finally, Mo Fati with that jump hook. In seconds on their shot lock, Kyle Tolentino. Bumalik din, the scoop and the hoop. Great attack to bring the deficit down. Doctor is a miss to open the third for the guys in green. Torres fakes, drives inside, and scoops one up and in. So Mo Fati's size really push him out of the paint and go under ball screen. So let's see if they stick to that down the stretch here in the third. Wow, strong drive, plus a foul galing dito kay James Tempra. So James, so both teams really trying to step up the aggressiveness, but a few careless decisions by Letran. As we see, Pau Villanar, another offensive rebound. So we mentioned the key for them to two extra dribbles to uh, keep, it, keep it closer to the rim. And we, he's caught right there, ball watching as Kevin Santos with an easy layup. But as I was saying, Great defensive possession by Letran, really pushing out Mo Fati and Kurt Rayson with a beautiful pass to Kevin Santos as Coach Deno calls time. With a travel there, but competent recovers against Rayson. Na agawan dito Mionje. Numbers here for the Knights. Hand off Fajardo, and finally they take the lead here. Letran two, as well as Uratex, pero number three ang Uratex, number four ang CSB. As Competente, Mintes, but the putback is good. Great job by Competente. Ta sa anila, so, but here he is, he's back with FEU, doing a good job. And now, under new coach in Denok Miranda, as Santos with a one-hander. Of course, it's another turnover. Let's see what Kyle Tolentino does with it. Trying to draw a foul. Oh, Santos! Pull the ball inside! Kevin, foul. Kevin Santos, the whole game, that's what he's been doing. Tracking down missed shots. Aggressive going up. Not faced by Mo Fati. Has a chance. To Pero kaya naman yung igalaw at ibend. Wala naman daw pop na narinig nung tinanong siya. But when he was asked with the pain level, he says it's at 8. Back to you guys. 8 out of 10. 3 seconds remaining in the third. Ano nuevo. Oh! Nakaw play. Galing dito kay Bakuno. Great set by FEU. That's something they've been run. Put intricacies of their own. And now both teams looking very sharp and very good. Tempra, the left hand. It's good. James Tempra. Bothered by the length of Anyo Nuevo. And again, the turnover. Fast break opportunity for the guys in green. Torres, finally, knocking down the three. That's a layup for Cyrus Torres. Though. But once again, if you turn it over against FEU, Cyrus Torres can make you pay for threes as we see the Bola.tv three-point shot of the game. FEU leads 60-51 as we head into the break. Basketball, competente, goes to Torres. So smash action, zoom. Great drop pass. Ooh. Textbook, daling dito sa Tamaraw. Fusion, but Latran just not with the same defensive intensity as we see Pau Havillonar streaking down the lane for it. So FEU, last shot, but still looking to execute. Tempra against Rafael Go. Oh, the strong finish to the left. Really gave it to him. And will face the CSB Blazers in the quarterfinals. So FEU starting without the zone. But Neil Guarino, as we mentioned, one of the sharp, sharp shooters for this. Humawas, Galvez, Guarino, Santos, and Javillionor naman. Pa kay Coach Renzi Bahar and the Knights. Anu Nuevo, offhand, that's good. Cholo Anu Nuevo. 
Yung una nila against San Beda and then yung last nga nila against CSB naman. Patrick Sleet, no foul call but able to will it in. Patrick Strew, what has been the problem para dito sa Knights here since that stretch? As Cyrus Torres again with the second three. From FEU today and the past few weeks has come from, it's been inspired by Coach Gabby's brilliant mind. Oh! The throwdown! Kevin Santos putting Mo Fatty on a poster! But bringing hope to their squad is this jam by Kevin Santos posterizing the seven footer Mo Fatty. Kevin Santos jam is brought to you by Bola.tv, the Bola.tv slam of the game. Mo Fatty had now, they are down by 14, but still a long way to go. Anya Nuevo blocked! Doing it on both ends for Letran. And take a look at that denial galing dito kay Kevin and Santos. That defensive play of the game brought to you by Bola.tv. 11 point lead. Fatty offering a pick. Torres sliding in for free. Wala. Mo Fatty with a hook. Just too big. Mo Fatty. Brilliant. He's for coach Renzi Bahar. That fist action. Rayson. Sa loob. Santos goes up for the finish. Kevin Santos and Burtz. But right now, their rival, Setran, is down by 11. Make that 14 as Cyrus Torres. Yeah. 11. Good job, Mo. As I was saying, itong FEU, despite the fact that Kevin Santos had those sequence of plays as Kurt Rayson knocks down a three. The spitfire guard of the Tran. So, Javier setting a big screen as Kurt Rayson hits the Bola.tv three-point shot of the game. Take care of the possession. Año Nuevo. Perhaps a mismatch inside against Rayson. And he takes advantage of that matchup. Really great. Javier hands it off. Rayson gets blocked by Año Nuevo. But Santos, again, second chance opportunity. EU trying to hang on here. A win here would give them the number one spot in Group B as Fajardo steals and gets a fast break layup. For one final shot here, Fajardo takes a three pointer. That's a miss and that will do it. FEU will come out on top here and will remain unscathed, winning against a really tough. Three-time defending champions in the NCAA, the Letran Knights, 84-74. to FEU just did a terrific job down the stretch. Held the fort against Kurt Rayson and company. Despite Kevin Santos really being aggressive, they just did enough to keep the lead, maintain the lead, even in